So if a PS drive only exists within Windows PowerShell, how could you possibly use PowerShell to do something like a logon script, where you might need to map real drives, ones that would show up in Explorer? Well, you're going to kind of think this is crazy, but part of the idea here is don't try to reinvent the wheel. Um, in other words, rather than asking yourself, well, how would PowerShell map a drive? And forget PowerShell for a second how would you normally map a drive in, in say, a batch file, just a regular command.exe batch file? You would probably type something like net use z, send it to server dash r to c string, and that's what you would do it. And guess what? That exact command will still work within PowerShell. Uh, in fact, what PowerShell will really do is create an instance of command.exe, run that command, capture the output, and then bring the output back into PowerShell. So it'll, it'll all kind of look like it's running in PowerShell, but really under the hood, it's the same command you're always used to running. Um, that's, that's the real moral here. You don't need to reinvent everything. There's not necessarily a PowerShell way to do every single thing that you might need to do. Sometimes the old ways are, are just as good. Um, you know, I've, I've had people sit in class and say, well, how in PowerShell do I run ipconfig? And I say, well, it's complicated. You type ipconfig, and you hit enter. So if you already know how to do something from the command line, odds are PowerShell will let you do that exact same thing without a lot of modification. So just do that thing. And that's a great example of, of how PowerShell can be used for a lot of different stuff without you having to learn a lot of new things. Just do it the way you've always done it.